Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Integrals involving inverse trigonometric function. You can turn to page 215. Okay, so this is on the topic 4.4. Okay, in this subtopic, uh, this is the tree of list of formula that we are going to use most of the time. Okay, so uh, you don't have to worry because uh, this formula uh, is included uh, in the list of formula. Okay, so look at to the first example. Okay, so how to solve this question? Okay, so the first step, you have to look at to the list of formula. Okay, so as you can see, our denominator here is 81 plus x squared. So we have a squared plus u squared here in general. Okay, so the most suitable formula is by using the first formula. It is equivalent to, so we need to change our denominator in terms of a squared plus u squared. Therefore, 81 is equivalent to, we can rewrite as 9 squared. 9 squared plus x squared dx. Actually, as you can see, what is our a here? So, our a is actually equivalent to 9. And then, our u is equivalent to x. When you apply this formula, so it will become... 1 over a, so 1 over 9, tangents inverse, u over a, your u is x over 9 plus c. This is your final answer. Look at the example b. Integrate 1 over square root of 6 minus x squared. most suitable formula is the second formula. So 1 over square root of a squared minus u squared du. So you need to change your denominator in terms of this way and identify your a and also your u. Okay, therefore, our denominator we can rewrite as square root of 6 squared minus with the x so, in this case, our a is equivalent to square root of 6 and then our u is equivalent to x. Therefore, it is equivalent to sine inverse, your u is x, so x over your a is square root of 6 and then plus. Now, look at the question part c. You need to rearrange this function in terms of this one. In this case, by using substitution method, we let our u squared is equivalent to 16x squared. Therefore, u is equivalent to 4x. So, when you differentiate u, so you will get 4dx. Therefore, 1 over 4du is equivalent to dx. So, our function 1 over square root of 5 minus 16x squared dx is actually equivalent to 1 over 4. So, 1 over this one is square root of 5 squared minus with the u squared of the du. You can see actually our a is equivalent to square root of 5 equivalent to 1 over 4 sine inverse u over a. So your u is u over a. Your a is square root of 5 and then plus c. Then we need to change in terms of original variable which is x. So 1 over 4 sine inverse your u is equivalent to 4x over square root of 5 plus to the question part d so how to solve this question you need to change your denominator in form of a squared plus u squared and at the same time you have to make sure your numerator is equivalent to 1 so then first step we let our u is equivalent to x squared therefore du is equivalent to 2x dx therefore 1 over 2 du is actually equivalent to x dx okay we can put the constant outside 
so 5 over 2 so how do I get that 2 so it comes from 1 over 2 how do I get 5 so I just take out this 5 so 5 over 2 so this one is x of the dx is equal to 1 over 2du so this one is just du so I just put 1 here so du and you write as square root of 11 squared plus u squared when you have u squared it is actually equivalent to x power of 4 then it is equivalent to 5 over 2 so when you apply the formula so it is actually 1 over a so what is your a your a is square root of 11 u over a so your u is u and then over a so your a is square root of 11 then plus c so don't forget to change back in terms of original variable therefore 5 over 2 square root of 11 tangent inverse your u is equivalent to x squared over square root of 11 plus ok now we move to the next question person part e so for the x squared minus with the 2x minus 24 so the first step you need to apply completing the square so by applying the completing the square so this function will become x squared so it should be x minus so your b here should be b over 2 so 2 you divide by 2 so you will get 1 minus 24 so it is actually equivalent to x minus 1 squared so minus 1 minus 24 minus 25 so actually you can apply uh you can recall whatever method that you have learned before about uh applying the completing this square so you already rewrite your quadratic function in terms of u squared minus a squared and then in this case you can identify your u so your u is actually equivalent to x minus 1 and your a is equivalent to 5 so because we get that 25 you can see this is 25 we can rewrite as 5 squared so therefore your a is equivalent to 5 so we know that our u is equivalent to x minus 1 so this is also your u let our u is equivalent to x minus 1 therefore the u is equivalent to dx so we will rewrite our function or original question in terms of u then this one is equivalent to 1 over u square root of u squared minus a squared so this one is your u squared minus 5 squared of the d 1 over a so your a is 5 and then second inverse u in this case your u is u u over a your a is 5 and then plus c then you have to change back everything in terms of original variable which is x so second inverse your u is equivalent to x minus 1 over 5 and then plus c. look at to the next question need to do with this quadratic function so apply completing the square here x minus 4x squared so first we rearrange so we put a variable in front so negative 4x squared and then plus 6x so uh, if you still remember how to apply completing this square we have to make sure uh, your a should be positive 1 so negative 4 this one is x squared so since you already take out negative so in the middle will become negative so minus with the 6 over 4x so simplify negative 4 x squared minus 3 over 2 i are not applying completing this square yet so we are rearrange our function in terms of 1 x squared in order for you to apply completing this square okay next we have to apply completing this square so this is the way how I am applying completing this square minus here. Okay, so x minus, so b over 2, this is your b. So b over 2, so you will get 
3 over 4 3 over 4 then minus with the 9 over 16 then simplify we will get negative 4 x minus 3 over 4 squared then we expand this one and then simplify you will get plus 9 over 4 okay, next 1 over square root of 9 over 4 minus 4 x minus 3 over 4 squared of the dx so what I'm doing here so I just rearrange this one uh, to make sure we can rewrite our constant in front which is a squared so that's why I put that 9 over 4 which is constant in front so 9 over 4 minus with the 4x minus 3 over 4 squared we know that you can rewrite your 9 over 4 in terms of 3 over 2 and then you have to make sure this one also you can rewrite as u squared 1 over square root of 3 over 2 squared minus with the 2x minus 3 over 4 squared so dx here. So in this case, your a is equivalent to 3 over 2 and your u is equivalent to 2x minus 3 over 2. Try to differentiate your u so you will get du is equivalent to 2 dx. So we need to move 2 to the other side. 1 over 2 du is equivalent to dx because we want everything in terms of u later on. Okay, now we put everything in terms of u. So we have 1 over 2 here, then 1 over, we have 3 over 2 squared, square root of minus u squared of the du. Then by looking at to the formula, so when you try to integrate this one so you will get sine inverse u over a plus c so it is equivalent to 1 over 2 sine inverse u over a so your a is plus c then change everything in terms of x so 1 over 2 sine inverse 2x minus 3 over 4 over 3 over 2 plus c then we need to rearrange 1 over 2 sine inverse 4x minus 3 over 4 over 3 plus c